Good afternoon, Sean, and we are told that just about everyone is still at work today, although that could change this afternoon as plans for those furloughs are finalized. The shutdown pinch is already being felt among New Hampshire's citizen soldiers with regular drills canceled this weekend. A spokesman for the Guard says if no deal is reached in Washington, around 400 of the state's 2,800 Guardsmen will be furloughed, with official notice being given this afternoon. Of course, there will be a basic level of readiness maintained here in case of an emergency. Governor Chris Sununu says this kind of dysfunction being inflicted upon the state by Washington is unacceptable. It's appalling, frankly. Uh, I have no patience for anyone threatening government shutdowns. Uh, as elected officials, we have a first obligation to our citizens, and there's no citizen uh, that can say that they are better off when the government shuts down. And if anything changes between now and, say, tomorrow morning, we have a process in place to notify our guardsmen through their supervisors. Now, a lot of people who are working here today are working without pay. After the 2013 government shutdown, Congress retroactively provided those wages, and the hope is that they will do that again if they can get the government open again. Reporting live in Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.